welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have some organizing DIYs, hacks, ideas to share with you guys using Dollar Tree products and products I'm going to call bonus items. They're items you can still get for relatively cheap, but at other stores. And I feel like this is a good option anyway, because lots of times at Dollar Tree, you cannot find the same thing that you see in videos. With Cooper now, I'm trying to figure out where to place his stuff and all the things that he needs inside of my home. My home is considered a small home. It's under 1,000 square feet, which in real estate terms is a small house. It's technically upstairs, only four rooms. We recently redid the basement and that adds so much more room, but the upstairs is very small and I have to figure out where to put things that belong to Cooper and us inside of a smaller home. So if you have a smaller home, hopefully lots of these tips and ideas come in handy they have come in handy for me so I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you're not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe I upload Dollar Tree DIYs and videos like this that have to deal with organizing so anyways with that being said let's begin the video we're gonna start off with some bathroom organization this is underneath the sink in my new bathroom that's in my basement. Over the past few months, we've been putting things underneath there, so I wanna organize that and also add some cleaning supplies and extra towels. So that way, whenever we need something, we don't have to go upstairs and get it. It's right there down in the basement for us. We're gonna start off with my favorite organizational piece from Dollar Tree and it's their wire shelves. I love these things because you're able to take advantage of space that would otherwise be wasted. Lots of times underneath our sinks, there aren't shelves down there. So you have a bunch of wasted space. You're able to take advantage of that space by using extra shelving pieces and i like these because they're temporary especially if you live in an apartment you can't put anything permanent down there so these come in really handy i took a bin from dollar tree placed it on top of the shelf and inside of the shelves i'm adding towels if you don't have a linen closet but have extra space underneath your bathroom sink take advantage of that space and use it to store some towels if you can Next up, I'm gonna be taking a wire step shelf from Dollar Tree and I'll also be using some of their baskets. You wanna get baskets that have holes in them. You're gonna be using zip ties to attach those baskets to the step shelf. Just feed your zip ties around the shelf and through the basket, just tie it down. You can use as many zip ties as you like to tie down your baskets. I'm gonna be using this to hold cleaning supplies. You can technically put cleaning supplies directly on the shelf, but it's easy to knock all of the cleaning supplies over when you grab one with these shelves. The baskets prevent that from happening and you're also able to hold more cleaning supplies by adding these baskets. And because of the step, I can see all of my cleaning supplies clearly versus if I just put them all down in one bin, it's a little bit harder to see. I'm gonna be using another one of those black bins and I'm gonna be using this to store some extra toiletries. So I'm adding extra hand soap inside of there, extra shampoo, and this basket fits perfectly underneath that Dollar Tree wire shelf. Another one of my favorite organizational pieces from Dollar Tree are these clear organizing baskets. You can use them all over your house, including your refrigerator. Inside of the bathroom, I like to use these to store extra toiletries like toothbrushes, toothpaste, makeup. In this case, I'm using it to store Matt's razor and then some extra accessories that came with his razor. I'll be taking another bin that I got from Dollar Tree and using this one to store some extra washcloths in. I just went ahead and rolled the washcloths up and placed them inside of the bin. I love this hack. You can get the self-adhesive hooks from Dollar Tree. If you are not a fan of those, they also carry command strips. And then you just wanna get a basket from Dollar Tree that has handles. In this case, I'm gonna be using these little like shopping cart looking baskets. They're three for a dollar. I take my hooks and I feed them through the holes that are inside of this basket if you got a basket that doesn't have the holes but it does have the handles you can hang it off of the handle i hang the basket underneath the bathroom sink and inside of the basket i place some bags these are grocery bags i recycle to use inside of my bathroom garbage you can put whatever you want inside of your basket but this is so handy for me because i don't have to go upstairs underneath the kitchen sink every time i need to put a new bag inside of my bathroom garbage now you don't have have to use Dollar Tree's paper towel holder for just holding paper towels. I'm using this to hold 
toilet paper. And some of you guys might be like, why not just stack the toilet paper? You can do that, but in my case, lots of times I go and I grab one of those toilet papers when they're stacked on top of each other and then they all topple over. This prevents them from all toppling over. Final Dollar Tree item I'm placing underneath this bathroom sink is this little storage caddy. Now this one is on the smaller side. You're gonna find it in the crafting section. They do carry bigger ones. It's just a matter of can you find them in your Dollar Tree. Inside of these caddies, I like to place items that I use more daily, things that are just quick to pick up and I see them right in front of my face. I just grab the entire caddy and I'm good to go. Ideally, this would have been white or black, but the blue one was the only one I could find. That's just how it is at Dollar Tree sometimes. To organize underneath this sink, it only cost me $11 in Dollar Tree products and I still had leftover zip ties and hooks to use in my other bathroom. This next item I'm sharing with you guys is a bonus item. It's an item you're not going to find at Dollar Tree, but it's still inexpensive. It is this over-the-door yoga mat holder for $5 I found at Five Below. When I saw this, I knew it would be perfect for storing towels. I didn't have the idea of a yoga mat. I was like, oh, this is great. You can just use it to put some towels on top of. Dollar Tree does carry little over-the-door hooks, but you're not able to nicely store the towels. You're just putting them directly over the hook. But that is an option if you rather go to Dollar Dollar Tree. I truly love this next DIY slash hack. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up some of their napkin holders. You'll also be using zip ties. You're going to be tying the napkin holders together with your zip ties. It's up to you to use how many napkin holders as you'd like. And you have an option here. You can take the zip ties and attach them to the top of the napkin holders. And this is gonna act as a barrier from stopping whatever you're putting inside of here from spilling out. I'm gonna use one thing in particular, but I've seen these napkin holders used for a lot of different things, especially acrylic paint. Now I have two sides that I made and I'm gonna attach those sides together using zip ties. So I have the napkin holders back to back. I'll be using this to store some of my crafting vinyl. I know not everybody has crafting vinyl. You can use this to store other things like kitchen supplies. You can only make one side of this, flip it over, and store cooking sheets inside of there, even the plastic lids from your storage containers. There's different ideas for this, but I'm using mine in particular to store my vinyl. I do prefer the side that has the zip ties. I just would prefer to spray paint the zip ties a different color. Another idea to store your vinyl are over the door shoe organizers. This is a bonus item. I got it at Walmart. It's a 24 pocket over the door shoe organizer that cost me $4. I'm using this to store all the rest of the vinyl that I have on hand. My vinyl for the longest time was underneath my bed. I had nowhere to put it and I'm finally able to get it out from underneath the bed, clearly see it and have it organized. I have seen people use the over the door organizers in their pantries to store snacks you can use this to store other crafting supplies and even tools just think outside of the box they're inexpensive and they come in so handy you guys you can put this on every single door inside of your house if you wanted to like i said it just doesn't have to be for shoes now i wanted to share some hacks and diys for you guys if you have makeup or like vanity so dollar tree carries so many great organizing pieces for jewelry and makeup if you cannot find them in your store they do carry them online what I'm doing is I'm taking the stackable drawers and gluing three of them to each other. I do this two times. Then I take those two pieces and I attach those together. So I got one bigger drawer. I then take one of these lipstick organizers from Dollar Tree and I glue that on top of my drawer unit. I also ended up purchasing one of these organizers. Now this one isn't like the lipstick organizer. There's a bigger space inside of there that you can use to store things like foundation. For just $8, I made this decent sized makeup organizer. You can even use it to store other items beside makeup. If you decide though that you're gonna use it to store makeup, it's able to hold a lot of lipsticks, foundations. If you have more square shaped foundations, you can place those inside of the drawers. If you have rounder, bigger ones, or maybe they're still square and bigger, you can place that inside of the organizer that's on top of the drawers. It can also hold smaller palettes, makeup brushes. For $8, I was just able to fit all of this makeup inside of this. Now, if you're looking for some organizational pieces to store your 
palettes, what you can do is use the napkin holders from Dollar Tree and use that to store and display your palettes. It's able to hold three palettes. It just depends on the thickness. I can see it holding more than three if the palettes are thinner and maybe less than three if the palettes are thicker. If you have a vanity or even a makeup room or you're just really into displaying your makeup, you can also use these little easels that you get to display pictures and frames from Dollar Tree and use that to display your palettes. This is what I used to do. I used to use these to display my palettes when I had my makeup channel. My makeup channel is definitely the reason why I have so much makeup. I saved some of it so that I could use them in some of my organizational DIYs. Anyways, another hack from Dollar Tree, you can get this paint brush holder. It's $1, you guys. If you don't like the color, spray paint the thing. You just put it together and then you place your makeup brushes inside of there. Now, I know some of you guys have a lot of makeup brushes, especially if you're really into makeup. So you can use this to store your makeup brushes, even lip liners if you have lip liners. For $1, I have this piece that pretty much holds all of my makeup brushes. If it's a thicker brush, it's not gonna fit inside of this though. Some of the brushes didn't even push all the way down, but most of it did. It's really good for holding thinner handles or eyeshadow brushes. Enough with makeup organizing, let's jump into the closet, whether it be your bedroom closet or a coat closet. This is a bonus item. I picked this up at five below for $5. It's a six shelf hanging organizer. Dollar Tree Plus carries this. If you do not have a Dollar Tree Plus in your area, you can get this at Walmart, from Amazon. This piece is relatively cheap everywhere. I'll be hanging this inside of my coat closet. My coat closet also holds our shoes and our shoes are usually at the bottom of the closet, but I need to get the shoes off of the bottom so that I can start putting Cooper's car seat inside of the closet. I don't like having his car seat just laying in the front room and I don't really want it laying inside of his bedroom. Since we have very limited storage and closets inside of our home, I'm trying to take advantage of space that's higher up. I paired this hanging shelf with some of these storage collapsible organizers from Dollar Tree. They fit inside of this perfectly. I also placed a few of the storage containers from Dollar Tree. They're like fabric containers and they are on the smaller side. So I use this to store shoes that I don't wear every single day, specifically more like summer shoes that were just at the bottom of the closet on the floor. I'm getting them off of the floor now. So I put my shoes inside of one of the bins. I put Matt's shoes inside of one of the bins. I didn't just place shoes inside of this thing. I placed some umbrellas we had and then some raincoats inside of there. I also placed some of Cooper's winter gear and then some of his car seat covers the sun blocking kind and like a muslin blanket i put that inside of there you don't have to just use this inside of a coat closet or a closet that you're using to store clothes you can even use this inside of a crafting closet so i was able to get a lot of the stuff that was at the bottom of the closet off of the floor and I just slide this thing right on down. The items inside of there I don't reach for as often so I went ahead and slid it so that it was more so behind the wall. A couple of weeks before filming this I did place this three cube organizer inside of my closet. It would cost me like 20 bucks from a local hardware store and I placed our main shoes inside of these little organizers the one that's at the top is from Dollar Tree. So our gym shoes, things we wear more often are inside of there. And now I have this big space that I can now place Cooper's car seat in. So it's not just sitting in the front room, like I said, or sitting in his bedroom. And on top of that, I just throw his diaper bag. And every single day now, I've just been grabbing the car seat, grabbing the diaper bag. It's all right there, good to go. There's one more thing I'm gonna add to this. Now, this is something that my channel really became known for, and I haven't done it in a while. From Dollar Tree, you can pick up some Sterilite crates. And you take zip ties, tie them all together as many as you like. If you cannot find these inside a Dollar Tree, Walmart actually carries them inside of the office supply area. I also purchased these little organizing bins from Dollar Tree and these are going to fit perfectly inside of the crates. I'm going to use these little bins to create what is essentially another shelf. So I take my zip ties and I tie these bins in place. I just kind of figure out the placement of them. Now what I'm actually going to be using this for is to store Cooper shoes. Now the little bins that I added, I'm using some of them to put socks in and the 
some of them to put his little footies that are soft you don't have to do this you can just layer the shoes on top of each other but i decided to do it this way so that way i'm able to put other items that i wouldn't normally put inside of these crates back in the day i used these crates to store makeup a lot i even used this to create a vanity in itself i made them in different colors and used different materials they're really fun to work with and they're just great pieces for organization we're gonna do some organizing inside of my linen closet as well. Now I've actually done a Dollar Tree organizational video in this closet already, and you can kind of tell with some of the baskets that are inside of there. But with Cooper being born, we have new towels and new things inside of this closet. So I want to reorganize it and take advantage of some of the space inside of here. The first item from Dollar Tree I'm gonna use to organize my linen closet are these white bins from Dollar Tree. They carry them in different colors. My favorite color to get them in is white. If it's not white, I prefer black or more neutral colors. Now I'm gonna be using these to store things like washcloths, hand towels, towels that I call scraps. So what I mean by scraps, they are towels that I use to wipe things like mirrors, credenzas, the table randomly. If it's a towel that I'm going to end up throwing away because I'm wiping something really nasty, uh, these are the towels that I use. So I'm just calling you them get scraps. more real estate to the space inside of these organizers with your towels if you roll them. So I went ahead and I rolled everything up and I placed them inside. I'm also using these to store my pillowcases. So one of the bins is just gonna be pillowcases. I also use these bins to store my ironing supplies and my hair tools. I put those in two separate baskets. To label these bins, I'm using some chalkboard stickers Dollar Tree carries. They carry a bunch of different ones in different designs. So you can get a rectangular one, you can get square ones, the circle ones. To write on these labels, I used a chalk marker. My favorite chalk marker is found at Hobby Lobby. It's very rich in color. The Dollar Tree chalk markers, I'm not the biggest fan of. I go ahead and take these stickers and just plop them right on top of my bins. The bottom of my linen closet was especially a hot mess, so I'm going to be using some of these white buckets from Dollar Tree, and I'm placing some of my shower curtains inside of one of the buckets. I actually really only have four shower curtains. I have two that I use throughout the year, and then two Christmas ones. I place those inside of the bucket, so they're just not laying on the ground like they were before. Inside of another bucket, I had just placed some of our bed sheets inside of there. I need to do a better job of folding those, but they're a pain in the butt to fold, so lots of times I just bunch them up. I'm gonna be using another wire shelf, but this time around I'm using this long stacking shelf that I got from Walmart. I couldn't find any more at Dollar Tree, so I was able to get this big one at Walmart. Like I said, when I was organizing underneath the bathroom sink, these little shelves come in super handy, because lots of times you have no shelves and this big space it's like a big gap but no shelves so a lot of the space gets wasted so with these more kind of temporary shelving pieces you're able to take advantage of the space that gets wasted the thing that bugged me the most about the linen closet was the towel situation Cooper's towels are near our towels. They're smaller. They fall down all the time. They take up space from our towels and the towels are just thrown all around the place. I wanted to fix that. So I used one of the white buckets from Dollar Tree and I placed Cooper's towels inside of there. His towels are smaller. They fit perfectly inside of this. And by removing them off of the shelves, it made more room for our towels. Since his towels are inside of that bucket, I'm able to place that on top of that wire shelf. Therefore, I remove it from our main shelf and get it at the bottom and his towels aren't touching the floor directly. This isn't an organizational piece, but it is something I love to use from Dollar Tree. They're vinyl top liners. I went ahead and I just lined the shelf with these. I actually had some previously in here from Dollar Tree, but I ended up getting rid of those ones and relining them with some more fresh liner. It truly depends on the length of your shelf when you're using these Dollar Tree liners because sometimes it's just worth it to go somewhere else and buy the liner somewhere else and you're just going to get more bang for your buck that way. Now it's the fun part, putting everything together. I really love the white organizational bins from Dollar Tree. They did a great job of organizing everything for me and still just keeping everything compact. 
Now, since I now have a home for the pillowcases, the bed sheets, and Cooper's towels, I cleared up a lot of space on the other two shelves inside of my linen closet to then organize my towels. So I had one row with just my white towels, and then the other row I placed my beach towels toward the inside of the closet. So they're just a little bit harder to reach because I don't use them as often. And then the other towels are in the front that I use more often. I call those my hair towels. I use those a lot of my hair. Another bonus item I picked up from Walmart are these under the shelf baskets. They are two for $12.93. You can actually get them cheaper at other stores, especially at Ross, Burlington, and Home Goods. All you have to do is slide the basket so that it hooks onto a shelf. And this is another great piece, just like the wire shelves to create more storage space in a space that has a lot of wasted space. Inside of my basket, I placed some baby wipes that were actually sitting on the ground toward the inside of my linen closet. And that is how I organized my linen closet using mainly Dollar Tree products and then some Walmart products. But like I said, they're still inexpensive and you can go to other stores to get them for cheaper. We're going inside of the kitchen now. For those of you who don't know, I have a very small kitchen. There's not a lot of space inside of my kitchen, so I do a lot of different hacks using Dollar Tree products to organize the inside of the kitchen and just get more bang for my buck inside of there pretty much. So I had used this Dollar Tree step shelf to actually organize the spices that I had inside of one of my cabinets. But now that we have Cooper, we've accumulated more baby bottles, we've accumulated lots of baby food, and I need to use my cabinets to store more food. We don't have a lot of counter space, and there's actually this little piece of counter on the side of our stove that is wasted. This is another bonus item I really wanted to share. Though it is not Dollar Tree, it is worth the money if you have a smaller kitchen. It's a slim tier spice shelf. I was able to take advantage of that counter space that pretty much goes to waste beside my oven. It's so tiny, there's not much you can do with it. So I was able to use this shelf to store my spices and therefore making space inside of my cabinet for different foods. Now you can find similar ones on Amazon, Walmart. This particular one I found in Home Goods for only $10. So keep your eyes open. I will try to link some of the ones I find down in the description box. But if you have a small kitchen, this is so perfect. If you do not have a lot of cabinet space, it works so well because it's so slim. I love this thing and I feel like this is one of the best organizational finds I've ever found. I really wanted to share this one with you guys, though it's not a Dollar Tree product because it is a game changer if you do not have a lot of room inside of your kitchen. A great item to keep your eyes open for at Dollar Tree for organizing inside of your kitchen are floating shelves. These aren't just meant for decor. Before Cooper was born, I had purchased some acrylic shelves that you see in the background from Amazon to hold some of his bottles. Now that Cooper's formula fed, we use a lot more bottles and we use a bunch during the day, so I wanted more shelves. So I got these floating shelves for just a dollar at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using these to hold more of Cooper's bottles. Now I used command strips because I didn't want to screw these directly into my cabinet. If you use command strips, you want to use ones that hold the appropriate weight and you don't want to put anything too heavy on top of the floating shelf. The floating shelf does come with screws and drywall anchors. If you use those, go ahead and put things that are heavy on top of the floating shelf. I put this on the side of my cabinet as you guys can see, and now I have more storage space for Cooper's bottles. I have purchased many of floating shelves, so much so Matt hates them, and I've never ran into floating shelves for a dollar. Even the smaller ones that I purchased like this, just like the Dollar Tree size, those cost me more than a dollar. They cost me $5. That's it for these Dollar Tree organizational ideas, hacks, and DIYs, plus bonus items. I truly hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.